Uh, yeah. No, it's... Wow. What a difference. <laughs> Do you want to come in my car, little child? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to see yeah, some no, your puppies? Wife's... Your, wife... <laughs> your wife's right. Come see my cat. Mm, yeah. yeah, so... Gonna yeah. forego mm-hmm. them. Either that or you, or you look like a flasher. It's not been proved, so... Uh... <laughs> Hello and welcome all into the MO podcast. As always, you're here with me, Contamacia Sam. And me, Atreya. And today, we're going to be talking about some conspiracy theories. Yes! Yeah. Now, in fairness, I've been quite busy, so it's easy enough to do this. But hopefully, there'll be some stuff that you haven't heard about here. Now, conspiracy theories are a little bit like brothels in Amsterdam. They're everywhere and they're easy to get sucked off into. Uh, So, they pretty much all start the same way. The government are hiding stuff. They're not telling you the truth. And, yeah, no shit, Sherlock, because they never do. So, why? Yeah. But the thing about conspiracy theories is if you believe one, why aren't you believing them all? Because you have a distrust from where your information is coming from. Just because Jeffrey Epstein clearly didn't kill himself doesn't mean I'm on board with the 5G. See, now this is, I know, but it's a slippery slope. (laughs) So hopefully... Look, you're just jealous because you didn't get any tinfoil. Well... And I did. Yeah. Well, we'll make a hat for next episode. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, so hopefully these these are some of the more. There's something you may not have heard before, and in the context of conspiracy theories, there may be a little bit of believability behind them. We'll see if I haven't heard them before. Yeah. Now that being said, the first one is total horseshit. But, so this is that George Lucas is part of the New World Order Illuminati. Why is that bullshit? He's a person of power, right? And people of power are in the Illuminati. And the Illuminati, the New World Order, they need people everywhere, aren't they? They've got lawyers, they've got judges, they've probably got high-class chefs, they've got movie directors. I 100% agree with you. But the way this is explained is a little bit, well, it's convoluted, but this is, anyway. So, this is from r slash conspiracies, so that's what we're getting into here. You've resorted to Reddit, okay. Yeah. So, the reasoning behind this theory is because the Mimus, which is one of Saturn's moons, looks exactly like the Death Star, but... Star Wars was released three years before Mimus' giant crater had even been photographed. photographed. So where did he get the picture to make the Death Star? Where did that come from? It's just a sphere. Yeah. It's not that high tech. I mean, If it was some, like, weird shape that no one had thought of before, but, like, a sphere, that was... Yeah. That was thought of a while, a while ago. Yeah. So, yeah. Shit on this already. Uh, now, <laughs> the reasons given in r slash conspiracy is because Lucas was given early access to the photo because he was a patron member of the Illuminati. He paid early for <laughs> early access. Uh, uh, he it- paid for early access for a picture of a sphere... So he could make a sphere in a movie he was directing because he had never thought or seen a sphere before. Yeah. So this all comes from his first directorial film, which was THX 1138. Now, this was in 1971. Now, this is basically a love letter to the New World Order. 
Now, it's basically how a film has got to be in a dystopian future where the government forces people to take mind-altering drugs, forces abstinence on them and makes them conform by wearing identical uniforms and shaving their heads. Personally, I can't see anything wrong with that, but whatever. Uh, so this is the whole reason that these people believe because he made this film as to suck up to the Illuminati who were in place at the time. But this is absolute nonsense because THX started out as a Lucas short story, a film when he was at college. And if you just watch it, it's George Orwell, 1984, massively influenced yes. by that. And old Aldous Huxley, Brave New World. These things had come before the Illuminati was ever thought of. I mean, not before, but before it was thought of as this international world thing. Do you know what I mean? These come... Why, why weren't Huxley part of the New World Order and the Illuminati? Because yeah. it wasn't in the time frame kind of thing. Now, yeah. for a second, the moon, the one that we can see with our actual eyes at night, is full of craters. So mm -hmm. the reason the Death Star has a crater, maybe that came from the moon, but it's actually the main weapon of the planet destroyer that is the Death Star. So when you watch the film, the circle or the crater in it is where the power comes from. So it just makes sense as a design feature when you're looking at it aesthetically, that is where the planet destroying fucking Alderaan missile comes from. Yeah. Now, he didn't even, Lucas didn't even design the main. The, the, the Death Star. He, get, he gave this out to Colin Cantwell, who who worked on Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. So maybe he already had ideas from that film that had come before. So he was used to working with these things that people had never seen, never thought of in an everyday thing because he'd already worked with Kubrick. So now... Obviously, uh, Lucas would have signed off on the final design, but mm -hmm. I don't really think he would have said anything other than it needs to be big because it's a planet destroyer and it needs to be spherical because it's going to destroy planets. Like, I mean, that's literally all I can think of. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not a very inventive design. I'm just going to throw it out there, like... Yeah. It's just a ball. Like it's not. It is. I think they like just wrap that in a day. Clutching when... at straws. Quick, yeah. quick. Finish early. Finish early on a Friday, kind of thing with that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, wor the worst thing that I could find out about Georgie Boy is that he was listed on as a cameraman on Gimme Shelter, which is a documentary about the Altamont Free concert where Mick Jagger stabbed up loads of people. And that's it, really. So, yeah. I'm trying to make like a tenuous connection because I know like, um, he was involved in Labyrinth with the uh, the Hensons and David Bowie, and I was trying to think. In, I was trying to think, was David Bowie involved in anything like conspicuous? Like, but no, the Hensons. No. no. I mean, I guess you could grasp at straws and say. Yeah. That the Muppets are have a cult. To do with anything. Uh, yeah, I no. don't know. There's nothing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, it's he like George Lucas may be part of the Illuminati now, but I certainly don't think he was part of it back in the late seventies. No, he would have had to have made a lot of power and like been in, had enough influence and been influential enough to warrant recruiting. Exactly, exactly. He didn't have enough influence within Hollywood, like. Star yeah. Wars almost flopped, for fuck's sake. Do you know what I mean? It it wasn't a film that companies wanted to take a pitch on. This is why LucasArts was, is a thing. Because he had to go out and make his own company to produce this film. So... And he should have stuck with Labyrinth. Yeah, so it kind of falls apart. So, yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> so, this second one is a little bit more believable... A little bit and it involves 
my favourite, Bigfoot. Now, okay. Now, as anyone knows, I am a Bigfooter, and I really do want him to exist, or her, or them. Uh, however, they identify. Patty. Uh, but this is basically that the government knows that the big man is real, but it's unwilling, unable to confirm it, as this would have a massive impact on the logging and mining trade in North America. Why? So, you're asking the right questions now. So, today, conservation is more important than ever, but obviously, due to special interest groups in America, this is being undermined with backhanders in Congress because you always have these special interest groups who are looking out smoking in the 70s and 80s, big tobacco was part of their. Like, people who try to make money are always friends with politicians, obviously. Now, yeah. back in the late 80s, one species of owl would close 24 million acres of federal land and make logging drop by 90% in these areas. Okay. okay. So, the spotted owl has a range that encompasses Canada to the north and down to California in the south, with its main area being in the Pacific Northwest of America and Canada, in the more mature forests that have been there for years and years. Now, these were the forests that the traditional loggers used, the ones that have been there since the, before the Native Americans, which the Americans stole the land from, before the dinosaurs were alive, yet these loggers thought they could just go in and take it all. But... In the early 80s, the population of spotted owls had started to drop in the Pacific Northwest, and this was due to the post-war housing boom, which needed timber, that started a logging explosion. Now, hippies got onto this, and they started dressing up as trees and setting up tree houses in the forest to try and bring attention to the owl's plight. But, in fairness to them... They also hammered steel spikes into the trees, which would break the lumberjacks' chainsaws. I know, one extreme to the next, really. These radicalists, yeah. Yeah. they piss me off. Now, if you think they were bad, opposition from lumberjacks and the businesses that made money off the lumberjacks, they weren't proper fucking mental. They printed posters and t-shirts with the slogan, Save a logger, eat an owl. But I hope they printed them on the back of plaid shirts, not t-shirts. Yeah. But even worse, cafe owners started serving up spotted owl soup. So clearly they didn't give a fuck uh, about them. No. So, so yeah. So now lawsuits were, were thrown about and in 1990 the northern subspecies of spotted owl came under the Endangered Species Act and by 1991, a federal court ruling closed much of the Pacific Northwest woods to logging. So, if that much land was closed for a bird, just imagine how much land they'd have to close off if there was an animal that just wandered here, there, and everywhere. So, thoughts so far. Owls can fly, so... If they suddenly came home one day and found that their home was flattened and all the trees were gone, they could just fly somewhere else. And secondly, for Bigfoot, why don't... Clearly, they're like the missing link or whatever between us and... Man-ape. Mm. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. So presumably, they're intelligent. Yeah. They probably know what a condo is. Why don't we just build them a condo, right, around the area in the forest and then carry on with our logging because they won't care. They've got saunas. Mm, yeah. So the owl thing, the it wasn't just the owls were affected. Also, other habitats were affected there, which was the, the, the food they eat and where they kind of live. And because they have this... It's basically the western side 
of America. Don't know why they don't go north. Uh, east, lazy bastards, one would assume. But you know how so animals that logic, are. So, so, so the logic is that it's not just the owls, it's all of the food that the owls eat. So the mice and the rats and the rabbits and all that kind of thing. Right. So we're just not going to chop down any trees anywhere because every forest has rats and mice and rabbits and snakes and... So, now, this brings me to something which has really pissed me off recently. So More than maple syrup. Yeah. So, have you heard about No Mo May? No. So, basically, this is a thing that people were doing in May. They weren't mowing their gardens because they were letting... Oh. The grass grow and having yeah well okay yeah no mo may I thought it was like some Japanese person you were going to tell me about I don't know <laughs> no 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 never heard no. of him never heard of him <laughs> yeah no mo may yes because Dave enjoys no mo ever so yeah so yeah. we have bumblebees we have we've got a proper insect hotel because Dave never cuts the grass so. Oh no, that's 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 great and everything, like bringing the things back. But the problem is, is council started to get involved with this, right? I'm getting on my soapbox now. Council started to get involved with this, so I was paying my council tax through May for my council not to mow my park. Yeah, and then you get to an issue in June when they go, oh no, my way's over now. So what we'll do. We've let all that grass grow. We've let them colony of butterflies come in. Now what we'll do is we'll mow it all down. Cut it all and, yeah. So it what's the point? It doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Like, it, it doesn't make a point. And am I going to get a refund from a council tax in May because you're lazy Psh. bastards and can't be asked doing anything? Don't be silly. Yeah, exactly. And then, so then it spreads. And then people get on the fucking, these hippies who dress up as trees, will go, oh, no, you can't mow that on June the 1st. Oh, no, you can't mow that. It's Pride Month, but forget about that for a minute. You can't mow that because you've got all these butterflies there. And then June becomes no mow June. And then I pay my council tax for nothing now. And then eventually the world is a talking head song where everything is flowers. Yeah. There's nothing but flowers. This was a pizza hut. Now it's just covered with daisies. No? No. It's a good song. You should listen to it. I prefer the pizza hut. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, sorry. That was uh, that was just a bit weird. If this but, is yeah. paradise, I wish I had a lawn mower. <laughs> Strimmer. Yeah, Talking Heads knew where I was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so th- this is... Th- it's like one of them where... where okay, I get the... <sighs> It, what, not where does it end, but I get that we need to have birds and shit like that and ecosystems for them, but we also need wood for stuff. So what's the... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as far as fields and stuff go, like, they're trying to create ecosystems by, like, not mowing. Like, why don't they just... You know, like, farmers... Is it farmers that leave fields fallow for a year? I'm guessing so. You know, when they leave a field so that the crops, the soil can like regenerate its in, goodness in, and stuff. in feudal yeah, England. They, they rotate. Yeah. 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 I'm sure they must yeah. still do it now. Edward III and leave, all that, yeah. They must leave. No, because they, they put the cattle and stuff on it. They put their sheep and stuff on it instead of crops. And they yes. Let the Crop rotation. Crop all yes. 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 When they let the fields go fallow. Well, why don't they just let it go so fallow? that it, the grass gets overgrown and then they let a colony live there and then they can live there for a whole year and then eventually if they keep rotating and doing this thing all the insects and butterflies will go lads it's it's that time we need to move to the next field over next one there start parking your cars yeah it would be it would be that would be the thing but yeah so so this 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 theory comes down to, and to be honest with you, it is one of the most believable ones I've heard about Bigfoot, is that if an owl can shut down an industry, what could Bigfoot kind of do? Yeah, but could they not also turn around and go, it's Bigfoot though, isn't it? Like, 
they could start gangs and start killing people and stuff. Like, maybe it's actually the best solution is to just wipe them all out. Yeah, probably. I mean, if they were discovered, they would have been murked by now. They would have, like, yeah. been mowed down. You couldn't people have would be. Thing. It would be the fashion in, like, Paris Hilton in September where we, you know, wearing fur Bigfoot boas. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. You'd have... <gasps> you know, um... You know, like the Hobbit feet that they had to wear in the movie. I fucking knew it. I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it could be used as movie props. Be wearing another creature's foot. Bigfoot slippers. There you go. Yes, bigfoot slippers. Made from real bigfoot. Real big feet. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. I mean, they give the gorillas a break for the ashtrays. You know, they make cut off gorillas' hands to have ashtrays. I mean, you'd have a bigfoot true, ashtray yeah. then, yeah. So. I don't know. Do you know what I feel like? I feel like Bigfoot knows that it's been seen so many times. Like, just this is just going from the Patterson Gimlin film, right? You know when they film Patty, mm. and she kind of looks back and kind of goes and carries on storming off. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank, they're yeah. back again. Yeah. Fucking will not leave us alone. It's almost yeah. like it's not surprised. It's not like <gasps> and makes yeah, a runner yeah. into the forest. It's just like. Sorry, for fuck's sake again it, it is like paparazzi <laughs> like yes. it is like, it's just it just is completely unfazed and it's almost like i'm fairly sure if we saw out like a high definition video you'd see that slight head shake mm. toby Maguire when he sees paparazzi at the airport it's just like yes <sighs> yes that so I'm fairly basically... sure they know that we've seen them hundreds and hundreds of times yeah they just don't give a fuck anymore they're just trolling at this point uh, yeah, and until somebody goes in and either tries to sell them timeshare, which I, I still think they would go for, or a condo, they're just going to stay elusive because what's the point otherwise? They don't want to be a, a Bigfoot boa. They don't want to be Bigfoot slippers and they don't want to be Bigfoot feet. Yeah, yeah. Big feet. So, Bigfoot feet. Big feet. <laughs> Get them here. TM. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, we're selling them. <laughs> We're going hunting now. You know, they've got like, you know, like when the <laughs> when the council come to do your gas service and you're like, oh, I've got to take a day off work. No, I'm busy. Sorry, I've got to rearrange. <laughs> but if the council are going to fit you a new kitchen, you're like, I'm in all week. <laughs> like, give them an incentive to actually, you know, want to be friends with us or want yeah. to actually make their presence known. Yeah, give them marketing. Being turned into a clothing campaign. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so that's, I mean, it's one of the more believable Bigfoot theories, but still not very believable. Now, this next one is a conspiracy inside a conspiracy. Inception-esque level conspiracy. So, anyone that has been keeping up with the QAnon nonsense, and I hope none of you have because it is just fucking nonsense... Would know they that, are pretty mental. Yeah, this 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 will show how mental they are, because one of their splintered theories is that elites are looking for and have found the elixir of life, and this involves the blood of the young. Oh my god! Hold yeah. on, maybe I do believe this one. So, dependent how on how deep you get into it, this either involves them by getting plasma transfusions from younger people. I do know this one. Ye well, maybe you do. This is just on the on the the polite scale of it. Now, this plasma transfusion from younger people is a practice that the FDA cautioned should not be assumed safe to be safe or effective. I mean, why wouldn't it be though? Although technically it's not like, it's not stem cell treatment, is it? It's just, essentially it's just human battery juice. Yeah. So then we move on to the next one, which is parabiosis, which almost is stem cell, but it's having two living beings stitched together, sharing a circuitry and blood system. Now... That's just not fun. So the theory with this is that there's an older one and a younger one, and studies have been done in rats and mice, that once the once this happens, they stitch them together, stitch all their insides together and whatnot, the older one starts 
recovering from oldness, one would assume, by taking the younger one's blood and uh, circulatory system. But that would involve I've... being physically stitched to each other. That's... That's my issue. Like, I'm on board with, like, feeling younger. I mean, I'm not one of these people that wants to live forever, you know. I think probably by the time I'm, I don't know, I'm going with 53 or something, I'll be sick of everything. I'm yeah. already sick of everything, so I'll be more sick of everything. But 53, I think, is my limit, you know. Yeah. But So no one wants to live forever. But I don't like really being in the same room as somebody else. No mind having somebody stitched to me ass 24-7. Yeah. You're just going to have to walk around with them all the time. Oh, that would be crap. Have you yeah. seen that them Siamese twins on the news? that um they're joined at the head and they like face opposite directions yeah. so the the one's a one's a trans Cow male punk. and one's a woman mm. and the woman has sex with her boyfriend and the, yeah. the, the twin is obviously just facing the other direction and just kind of switches off it's like but they're two separate bodies but yeah, they're yeah, just yeah, joined yeah. at the head yeah like orcs I mean, Do you want to keep keep it down a little bit? These earplugs don't cover for every eventuality, yeah, you know. Jesus yeah. H Christ, like not noise cancelling. And then no. when he flips them over, they'll they'll see the. See that was the that was the yeah. twins' logic. Like we're facing at different directions, so I don't even see anything. And you can apparently, only do missionary. when when <laughs> yeah, well yeah, and when they go on dates, the 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 man twin just brings a book. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> I mean, like, what kind of life is that? That's like sibling love. That that's that. I mean, to be honest to with be you, fair. they couldn't they couldn't live without each other. So they kind of need to make like give and take in it, really. True. It was on. Um, it, if if anyone that's interested, it was on Lad Bible on Instagram, and the comments were very, very funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, <coughs> really, so, is yeah. amazing what you can do when you get your head together. Oh yeah, when two heads are better than one, I suppose. Uh, yeah. So, but we're not what not... the boyfriend meant when he asked for head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if he got? Anyway, no, not going to say that. What if he got Just drunk? Just read and... the comments. They agree. Like, anyway. But yeah, got yeah. the wrong head. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they would say. Yeah, yeah. Ghost. So, the third and final theory is that adrenochrome is the magic potion that will make the Gates and the Rothschilds live forever. So this is what we're going to look at. And anyone that has seen Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, which is not a trailer, will know <laughs> that according to Bendico del Toro's character, Dr. Gonzo, there's only one source for this stuff, the adrenaline glands from a living human body. It's no good if you get it out of a corpse. Isn't that a thing though? Um, like that's like a common thing, isn't it? Like monsters. Like I've seen like in Supernatural and Grimm and things like that in TV shows. Them well-known documentaries that, that thrive off the not, no, like it's a like it's a folklore thing, isn't it? These monsters feed off the adrenaline glands and fear and stuff like that. It's like a folklore thing, isn't it? Yeah, you're so far ahead of me. Yeah, and this is how bad it is. <laughs> so basically. Adrenochrome is oxygen, oxidated adrenaline, and it was studied in the 50s through to the 70s as a potential cause of schizophrenia. Uh, there was some evidence that it could mimic the symptoms of psychosis, but it didn't actually lead anywhere until Pizzagate in 2016. Now, if anyone knows what well if okay you're looking puzzled pizza gate that there was a satanic uh cult running by hillary Clinton running out the basement of a pizza place right, in new york uh, definitely true yeah so they were in they were all pedophiles and it was this just this and then one guy went in with a gun to free these people and it was just a pizza joint like <laughs> and he was like what do you want 
and because he was in New York, he didn't take any shit, so he just threw the gunman out, kind of thing. Uh, but <laughs> the gunman just stood there like, "Well, this is awkward." Yeah, stuck the wrong pizza joint. Maybe it's this one with loads. <laughs> this is Pizza Hut, right? No, <laughs> mate, it's Pizza Express. Pizza Hut is two doors down. My bad, sirs. So this, from Pizzagate, this is kind of where it took on a new life. And now the adrenaline was needed to be oxidated by fear. And, as with everything, it comes best from young children. So it's then extracted. It easier. And the rich Basically. and powerful gorge on it. Now, this is what leads us to our Babushka doll conspiracy. In 2020, a company called the Sim Corporation, a company that operates detention centers in the States and has its office address as Trump Towers, New York, had papers leaked. And if you believe the stuff that we've just previously talked about, then you can see how this could be weird. So, now you can open your spoilers. So are you saying, like, Trump had some involvement in this? Because if Trump is sucking the life out, sucking the life out of little children, as uh, Sarah, uh, what do you call it, out of Hocus Pocus said, it's not working. It's not doing anything for him. Well, okay, exactly. So what is what is this? So the first one, the first page you've got there is the Sim Corporation. Oh. It's one page Your of arena one. Arena Chrome production. Yeah, exactly. So you can see that there's 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 a lot of things there. So you've got Origin, produ- Raw Adrenochrome Production. So you've got Origin, Canada, Costa Rica, Mexico, United States. You've got inmates 16, 24, 20, and then some total of 80. Production- what I'm pulling out of this, Ant, is that Canadians are the most easily scared. Well, yeah. So you've got production in milligrams of 214. Now, you'd have to assume that it's that's adrenochrome that they're, these mm-hmm. 16 Canadians have produced. The average age is 8.4. So would that be children? The age of them? Eight years, 0.4? I mean, 84-year-olds are equally just as scared, I would imagine. Indeed. 96 year olds jesus christ it finishes them off yeah but then you've not got the juicy juicy but then maybe that's why they give more out because they're 96 uh but yeah so this looks this totally wrong <laughs> yeah so taking out salt on old people taken just from this piece of paper there's not it's just a load of nonsense really but then if you look at the second one you have surnames and names, you've got birthdays, you've got an age, you've got blood type, mm. you've got custody months, adrenochrome quality, you've got the location where these people have been, and then you've got lovely little columns that say due to disposal and gives a year. And then you have something that you can only take away as being suicide, unalived. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, we're not playing this game. So, that is suicide. Suicide. Or, so. Hold on, hold on. Let me just see what else it could be. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Suicide. 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 <laughs> suicide. Yeah, no, that's, that's all it could be. So. So, yeah. So, if you're, if, if you're a QAnon mental and you're reading into this and then these drop into your lap and this is this this one is one page of 12 so we're only going through a to b here on the amount of children quote marks that they've got and they're keeping them in detention centers and they're harvesting them are they is o quality better than a quality or is that rubbish I mean, I've... Or is it a D? I can't tell from here. It could be no, zero. Yeah. It could be like, these are just weak ass shit. Maybe the due to disposal thing is like how long they can keep this this chemical, this secretion, because, you know, yeah. maybe it goes, maybe it has a shelf life. Maybe, maybe. So, I, I don't mean... really know much about harvesting, you know, ad- adrenaline from small children, so I don't know the shelf life statistics exactly I'm just 
covering every eventuality, but this is definitely some sort of weird cult. Exactly. So if 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 you look at that, I mean, these aren't the only files either. There's pages showing shipping receipts of Adrenochrome to London. There's also receipts of body armor, ventilation systems, and x-ray body scanning machines being bought and shipped to places. And there's... Go on. Presumably, though, all of these... All of these kids... Well, let's, assume, let's just assume they're people. Let's not assume they're kids. Let's assume yeah, okay. they're people. Right? Even though it's got age in the column right next mm. to it. Right. Let's just assume these humans... Mm will have death certificates okay or they would all be listed as missing persons okay so you say that but then remember i think it was pretty much well it was definitely when trump was in power uh remember all them people who tried to cross the border and then children were being separated from their parents because they they couldn't be together the mm, children yeah. would have like would would be there and it took ages for some people never got got their children back maybe these are them mm, children yeah there's a lot of costa rica and mexican here isn't there yeah exactly so then if you start to believe in all this q anon nonsense that these people are coming in and people like if you start everything's connected with it and like I say, these aren't the only files that are out there of this. There's, uh, again, there's shipping orders that Adrenochrome has been shipped. There's ventilation systems that have been bought and put into places. And there's a really weird couple of print screens that show the price of hand sanitizer and cadaver bags on a Chinese Amazon site. It's really weird. I don't know why they included them in, but it's like, that's where you start to fall off and go, what? Surely so if this... Buy, the, it's, a, it's so covert an operation. It's so clandestine. They're buying their body bags off Amazon. Yeah. Surely if this was a, a, like one of them operations, surely they, they wouldn't need to do print screens of it. Uh... Can you even buy body bags on Amazon? I'm gonna have a look. Let me let me let me find the what's the website? I mean And you actually can. You can, right? Look at this, right? It says body bag for dead people. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much it's pretty much the same thing. The site is uh risingoutdoor.en.madeinchina.com which is bang on the nose to be quite frank with you but you know it's it is what this it is, is definitely I well this one is definitely chinese it says the body bag features four perforations reinforced handles is very strong and will not break the zipper is easy to open or close the c-shaped pullback design can quickly put the body into the sack good sealing yeah. The body bag has a waterproof coating and it does not penetrate directly from both directions. The bag ensures Sorry, any item again. Can put intact, no matter it is indoor or outdoor, it can be used perfectly. Don't worry about bad weather. That's the li <laughs> when I go out murdering, weather is the least thing on my mind. Do you know what I mean? The body bag is made of high quality 210D Oxford cloth material, strong and durable, with good carrying performance and tear resistance. No damage, absolutely no leakage. There you go. Where's that from? <laughs> Wuhan. <laughs> okay, okay. Family and hospital use of funeral supplies, convenient accessories. Great for <laughs> funerals, hikes, or other outdoor activities. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mum. We're going on this hike up Kinder Scout. <laughs> I've just got the cadaver bag with me just in case the worst scenario plays out. Convenient. It's convenient for hikes or outdoor accessories or outdoor activities. Oh, the body man. bag for dead people is 200 by 90 centimetres. If you have any questions during the purchase process, feel free to contact us. Our team representative will answer your questions within 24 hours. I'm just going to message them and say, why? <laughs> And they come in grey, black, coffee and beige. If you wanted a different colour selection. I mean, really? And, do you know what the best of it is? It's only £17.9 and it's next day delivery on Amazon Prime. 
Oh, oh. There's, rev- there's three reviews here. I'm intrigued. Colour me intrigued. Go on. Pretty decent size. Easily fits a large male, or I suppose a small family. As it's waterproof, you don't need to worry about leakage from the inside of the bag either. Top tip, if you order before 9am, you can get next day delivery, so planning ahead may be advisable. (laughs) All right, Ted. Great value for money. Fucking hell. The title is Quick Delivery, Sturdy Bag, Up to Job. And do you know when that was reviewed? Go on. Christmas Day. Oh. Some people just can't take their families. I, I mean, just... not taking the divorce well there, are you? Come on. Fuck me. But there's, there is three ratings and all of them are five stars. So there you go. I mean... So... £17.9... I... <laughs> what I want out of this exercise, Ant, right... It's for somebody from the government to ring me and say, what's this? <laughs> what you been doing this for on your phone? And I'll say it's for research purposes. It's for research purposes, yeah. Uh... Great for outdoor activities. <laughs> Absolutely no leakage. Take Don't it on a hike with you. <laughs> that fucking, that woman that went up Everest should have took well with her. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she wouldn't need to pay the Sherpa. Bloody hell. <laughs> so, there you go, everyone. You, you can keep that one for free. <laughs> so, she's, she's fucking a getting it. A small family, imagine. Sledged putting, out. A small family in there. Jeez. Imagine having to lift it afterwards, just as well, it's got good handles. Don't break. <laughs> oh, dear God. So, yeah, so this, if you look at it, if you look at this in the in the whole from everything we've seen, there could actually be a company, the Sim Corporation out there, which is such a cool name, by the way, uh, who owns these detention centres and they are harvesting adrenochrome from children. I mean... I know I keep harping on about it, right? But one day I'll be proven right, okay? What if, what if, right, in the 2000s or even in the 90s, they started off with, like, young people that weren't kids, just, like, you know, easy targets, like, I don't know, sex workers, maybe, around the Gilgo Beach area, possibly, I don't know. Long Island, you know, it's a big place. Could be, there's lots of people, lots of prostitutes, that kind of thing. What go. if they started off with that, right? I mean, I'm just saying all the Sons of Sam victims were people in their 20s. They were, they were or, or, or younger. They were young people, full of juice. Yep. And then maybe, you know, I don't know. I'm, tr- I'm trying to think. Well, actually, I was, I was trying to think of somebody who looked like Liz Hurley. She's ageless. She's absolutely ageless. If somebody was sucking adrenochrome whatever it is, yep. it'd be Liz Hurley, right? I was going to say Madonna, but absolutely would not. Oh, no, she's, she's, she, she's going to have to she, deep end, hasn't she? Carol Vorderman. She, does not, she doesn't look like a human being anymore. No, she's gone, she's gone to the, the, the other side, hasn't she? She does like some off Star Trek. She, 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 I was actually absolutely going to say then, she does look like the fucking Emperor from uh, Star she? Wars, doesn't she? Uh, but yeah... yeah. Maybe. So what, but what if they realised, the, what if these people that were taking it were like, no, this is like only making me look about like six weeks younger. This is just not, it's not doing anything for me really. And they're like, have you tried Elizabeth Arden or, you know, like Nivea? Garnier do a great range. And they're like, no, younger. Have you tried sucking off a six-year-old? No, I'm sure they didn't say that. I mean... Sucking the lives out of little children. Yeah, probably, probably more. They like maybe. That. Okay, so maybe maybe these weird people who set this all off just watched Hocus Pocus and went, it's not a bad idea, that. Maybe. Maybe, uh, yeah. Get me a virgin and a black flame candle. Indeed. But, unfortunately, these papers are fake. And, uh, oh, what? Yeah. I mean, I, I shouldn't be disappointed, but I've looked into body bags and everything now. Yeah, apparently... If you look at them, like I've, I've not 
come up with a fake, but other people have said if you look at them on Photoshop, it you can tell they're fake straight away. They've been photoshopped to look like this. They've been completely fabricated. But why did they have to Photoshop it? Ain't nobody got a dot matrix printer these days. I bet somebody has. You could have just typed it out. Well, yeah. But Take a photo. the fact that these papers are out there and they have this information on them, who, why, who's done that? Who's trying to set someone up? There's always somebody trying to set up the government. So, so like, so with this one, you've got it starts out as a conspiracy, but then if you're proving it fake, it's another conspiracy because someone wants to try. Obviously, everyone wants to try and harm the government. Well, I'm not saying that. I love the government. All hail. But some people are just bored, Aunt. Look at the flat earthers. Half of them know the truth. They know. Yeah, it. yeah. They just I mean, need to have something to believe in. Yeah. Maybe, but then do you want to believe in it that much? To like, how much time do you have to? I mean, I know we've done this for three years, four years now, and we've got a lot of time to waste. But how much time would you actually have to waste to make this shit up, put it out there, link the address to Trump Tower? Maybe like, it started off as an ARG, and then they were like, actually. I put a lot of effort into this. Like, I could take this more than ARG. Do you know what? I for- I absolutely forgot they existed, and you've just shit on that. Maybe that is what it is. Solved. Done. Boom. Done. On that bombshell. Yeah. <laughs> it's an ARG. <laughs> Don't get it, but still. The, but like, you look at. Um, have you seen? Um, Nick Crowley and Nexpo's ARG Liminal Land, like the stuff they've put mm. together for that is spot on. It's really good. Like you kind of look at it, like the videos that they put out before they announced it was an ARG. You were like, "Oh, that looks like an interesting documentary. I might watch that." Like, what is this about? All these people went missing. What happened? Mm. Uh, yeah, and then yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. They were like, "Yeah, it's an ARG," but like the the stuff was pretty convincing. It's yeah, good. some good stuff. Yeah. Might get a t-shirt. Indeed. In fact, now I might get a t-shirt that says, you know, I eat adrenaline. I suck off young boys. For fun. (laughs) (laughs) Clipped. (laughs) No. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God, here we go. I'm going to get a phone call from fucking MI5 again. Uh, Well, you know what? If you don't, right, that's brilliant. I've been looking at body bags. If I don't suck off. Oh, right. (laughs) <laughs> I thought you meant no, if, if neither of us get a call from the government right, right yeah. there's something sadly wrong it means the government don't care yeah come on Rishi uh, <laughs> Rishi's up to his eyes in Boris right now and definitely on that bombshell we will <laughs> leave you with that mental image of Rishi <laughs> Sunak <laughs> and Boris Johnson being up to their eyes in each other. And it'll live in your mind rent free for the next oh, at least three and a half minutes. That's all I need. <laughs> this has been the MO podcast with me, Consumatious <laughs> Ad. And me, Atreya. Thank you all so much for joining us, and we shall see you next time. Oh, Bye. Bye. The MO podcast. The MO podcast. The M.O. Podcast The M.O. Podcast